CHO1 business manager who is going to formally open the day. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to Sligo, all who have travelled, and a special Cage Mina Falcha to our good neighbours in CHO2. Thank you all very much for coming. This is the first of the cluster meetings um, that are now underway uh, in, since this project began. And that's because they, they started off with 44 people interested and it started to grow into the 122. And now that has just absolutely due to the phenomenal interest. So now they're um, approaching it through the cluster. So well done and, and really getting that message out there. So on behalf of Cleo Kinsler, who couldn't be here today, I want to extend a warm welcome to everyone uh, here today to assist, you know, to everyone here that we're going to assist our understanding of making recovery a reality for people who access and those who deliver the services in Ireland. And that will focus today for CHO 1 and 2. I want to ta thank here, and um, I need to pay a special tribute to the Advanced Recovery Joint, joint Managing Partners, Catherine Brogren and G Gina Delaney, for coordinating this opportunity for everyone here today. Thank you very much for doing all of that. <laughs> I want to welcome all the contributors as well who, gave, uh, who have given up their time and willingly will share their experience with us throughout today. And that's Dr. Marina Bow, Mr. Michael Ryan, Mr. Martin Rogan, Ms. Colette Tui, and Mr. Charlie Meehan, who's the head of service for CHO2. Thank you all very much. I just want to say a few words. Um, I am just, I'm sure that you will agree from the programme, the day is designed to reflect listening to the lived experience and how that experience can support the continued journey for mental health services in modern Ireland as committed to as part of the vision for change principles so many years ago. We are, I hope, on that road of moving from a professionally designed service model to a co-produced model with the key person central in the design of their own recovery plan. As we all know, the purpose of recovery-oriented mental health practices is to ensure that mental health services are being delivered in a way that supports the recovery of the person who requires a mental health service. And we do that, and, and I looked at all the literature and all the various things, and lots of buzzwords, and in mental health we love jargon, and uh, we, in health services we love jargon. In Ireland we seem to love jargon. We get PhDs in it. So I just picked out a couple of vital points to me that reflects what well, I hope the recovery um, model uh, purports and um, the message it sends out. It is about respecting the uniqueness of the individual accessing or using the service. It's about supporting and empowering individuals to make their own choices about how they want to lead their lives. It involves listening to, learning from, and acting upon communications from them as individuals and their carers about what's important to them. It promotes and protects their rights, their citizenship, and their human rights. It consists of being courteous, respectful, and honest in all our interactions. It acknowledges each individual is an expert in their own life, and that recovery involves working in partnership with individuals and their carers and families to provide support in a way that makes sense to them. For the person, it's about autonomy, social identity, purpose in life, and a positive sense of self. For the service, it's services demonstrating that they use the individual's experience of care to inform quality of improvement activities. And just before I finish, I noticed on a number of the posters uh, today, and I, pick, I want to pick out one um, reflection from a person who's participating in this journey. And they said, now I feel I can talk about my illness without fear of being hospitalised. They're saying that in 2017, not 2007 or 1907, but in 2017. We stand today, and I am reminded every time I come into this hotel, that in, that in the late 70s, I stood here as a student nurse. So I think we have come a long way, 
I welcome and I promote and I really uh, want to congratulate everybody involved in this journey. But if to make recovery a reality, the listening and the learning is the key factors. So you are all very welcome. Thank you all for coming and traveling and I hope today is fruitful and empowering for all. Thank you.